Superfood Evolution presents Akuma Fruit Powder benefits as an alternative sweetener. Akuma Powder is a natural, whole fruit based sweetener from South America and is indigenous to the Andes regions of Peru, Chile, and Ecuador. Although used extensively in these cultures for centuries, Lacuma has only recently in the last few decades become available to other parts of the world, mainly as an alternative sugar substitute. Sold as a powder made from its dried, subtropical, starchy, yellow-orange fruit, it is known to offer a sweet taste but without a concentrated amount of sugar content. Providing a healthier choice for those wanting to decrease their daily sugar intake, it is a whole food option to consider over condensed and evaporated sweeteners. Believed to be lower on the glycemic index, it is often recommended to type 2 diabetics and those wanting to reduce calorie consumption. Because it quickly starts to ferment soon after ripening, it is hard to find fresh lacuma outside of its local habitats. It can sometimes be found as a frozen pulp or fruit concentrate in Latin food markets, but is mostly sold internationally as a milled, fine, silky powder that is slightly lighter in color compared to the ripe fruit. Prized by ancient civilizations of Peru, Lacuma is often called the Gold of the Incas. In the 1987 publication Fruits of Warm Climates, it was stated that Archaeologists have found it frequently depicted on ceramics at burial sites of the indigenous people of coastal Peru. It was also an often used symbol of creation and fertility in the art of the Moche and Nazca peoples. Today, it is a popular fruit ingredient served on festive occasions in South America, especially where fresh lacuma is obtainable. It is also a cherished, favorite Peruvian ice cream flavor and used in various traditional Chilean desserts like lacuma meringue cake or torta de merengue lacuma. Lacuma is often described as having a taste combination reminiscent of maple, caramel, and sweet potato. However, in its dried form, it smells and tastes somewhat like a blend of ripe apricots and dried goji berry. While the fruit can be eaten fresh, it is typically blended into foods, drinks, and desserts due to its dry texture and unusual powdery mouthfeel that is not as appealing as juicy sweet fruits normally consumed. Because of this feature, it is frequently used as a natural sweetener. It is not, however, utilized in quite the same way as granulated sugars. Its subtle sweet taste and dry consistency is more appropriate when incorporated into blended drinks, desserts, and other recipes to increase sweetness without substantially intensifying sugar content. In our opinion, the powders are best used as complements to other low glycemic sugars like yacon or stevia, which have a much sweeter taste. The texture of the fresh pulp is described to be dry like hard-boiled egg yolk, a quality of which is also somewhat evident in the ground fruit sugar. The powder is therefore not usually ideal for dissolving into hot teas and drinks. Unlike crystallized sugars or pourable syrups, it will most likely sink to the bottom of your teacup and has a bit of an aftertaste when used in this manner. Simply created from the whole fruit pulp rather than from saps or juiced extracts which undergo evaporation techniques to condense sugar molecules, it is more along the lines of a dried fruit powder rather than a concentrated sweetener like honey or cane sugar. What is Lacuma? Lacuma comes from a genus Poteria, a group of flowering trees from the family Sapotaceae. This genus is often referred to as Poteria trees, which collectively also goes by the name egg fruit. This title denotes their familiar, starchy, hard-boiled, egg yolk-like texture. Lacuma, Poteria lacuma, or formerly Lacuma obovata, is much like that of the canistel fruit Poteria campachiana, native to Mexico and Central America, as it has a similar texture that is also frequently incorporated into sweet desserts and drinks. Other related species in the same genus include mame, Ibu, Zapotilo, and Sapote. Also called Lucmo, Lucumo, and Lucma in different countries such as Peru, 
Ecuador, and Chile. The kuma is an evergreen tree that ranges in height between 25 to 50 feet. Producing big white blossoms, it bears fruit all year long, but is especially prolific January through April in Peru. The rounded or irregular oval-shaped fruits have a thin green skin similar to that of an avocado. They are likewise one of those fruit species that often requires post-harvest ripening after they fall from the tree or are hand collected. The pulp flesh usually surrounds one or two large glossy brown seeds that are comparable to durian seeds, although not quite as large. The kuma trees grow in temperate, desert-like climates, as well as subtropical to tropical climate zones. Some propagation has been conducted successfully in other countries, such as New Zealand, using cultivars like the La Molina. According to The Lost Crop of the Incas, first published in 1989 by the National Research Council, Lacuma was one of the trees integrated into the Incas' sophisticated form of agriculture on the high plains of the Peruvian Andes. The fruits were considered a staple Incan food source and grown along with other cultivated crops like quinoa, passion fruit, maca, cherry moya, yacón, and goldenberry. The kuma trees are popular for their abundant fruit harvests, with some Peruvian varieties capable of producing close to 500 fruits a year from one single tree. The specific species Poteria lacuma is native to the highlands of western Chile and Peru, as well as southeastern Ecuador. Today it is extensively cultivated in these locations, with Peru providing most of the world's lacuma powder as an export product. The bulk of commercial production is processed into a dehydrated form, with only a small percentage reaching local markets to be consumed fresh. As we mentioned, it is virtually impossible to find fresh lacuma in countries outside of its natural habitat, due to the fact that it ripens quickly with cracking skin that is somewhat delicate to transport. It is occasionally sold as a frozen fruit pulp but it's currently, as of 2016, a hard-to-find freezer item in most health food stores and only available to a small degree from online suppliers. Health Benefits of Lacuma A whole food sweetener option Lacuma fruit, anise dried powder, is considered a healthy alternative sweetener that provides a sweet taste to drinks and recipes, but without substantially increasing sugar content. When you taste the powder directly, it is quite evident that the sweetness is very mild compared to other sugars. Although there is not much data on lacuma and its research sugar ratios, there is a significant amount of information stating that dried lacuma powders are known to be a low glycemic food usually referenced at about a 5 on the glycemic index. This essentially means that the fruit sugars are slowly released into the bloodstream rather than causing a sudden rise in blood glucose like refined sugars and foods with a higher GI. Being a whole fruit powder, lacuma contains a relatively high amount of fiber content, a known factor for lowering GI levels, as the presence of soluble dietary fiber acts to slow the gastric emptying rate and sugar metabolism. Because of these characteristics, lacuma is often recommended as an alternative option for those with type 2 diabetes or for individuals with weight gain issues. However, again, be aware that to date, there has not been much scientific investigation conducted on the health benefits of the Poteria lacuma species and its direct effects on blood glucose. One study analyzing the anti-hyperglycemia and anti-hypertension potential of lacuma, as well as other Peruvian fruits, including Physalis peruviana or goldenberry, it was shown that lacuma had the highest alpha-glucosidase inhibitory effects. Alpha-glucosidase inhibitors work to reduce the impact of carbohydrates on blood sugar. In conclusion, Peruvian fruits in general were suggested as beneficial food-based strategies for those with diabetes or high blood pressure. Contains starch-based polysaccharides. Although most fruits contain very little starch content, lacuma, like plantain, is a starchy fruit variety. 
Starch molecules are storage polysaccharides, or longer chains of simple sugars known as complex carbohydrates. It is the most common carbohydrate in the human diet and is present in many staple plant-based foods, like potatoes, grains, and even legumes. These long-chain starches, when consumed as whole foods, are more slowly digested and utilized as a long-term energy source. In our inquiries, we have not come across an exact sugar profile of the lacuma fruit or its dried powders. But besides the starch element, it does contain glucose, fructose, and sucrose. In the book, The Ultimate Guide to Sugars and Sweeteners, it was found that, according to a number of source estimates, one tablespoon contains 60 calories and 13 grams of total carbohydrate, with two grams of various sugars and 11 grams of starch. By comparison, the Sun Food Superfoods Lacuma nutritional label states that one tablespoon contains 60 calories, five grams of sugar, and 14 grams of total carbohydrate, which would seemingly include nine grams of starch. Keep in mind that lacuma is also harvested at different stages of ripeness. So depending on the brand, some can be higher or lower in sugar, which may affect the level of sweetness. While your own selection of sweetener options may be relative to what you are typically used to consuming, lacuma, as well as other low glycemic sugars like yacon, stevia, and monk fruit, can be used on their own or blended with other concentrated sugars to create the best results for your own particular needs. Nutritional value of lacuma sweetener. Although sometimes referred to as a Peruvian superfruit, we would not necessarily classify it as such. While it does contain some nutritional value, it is more of a sugar alternative rather than an adaptogen or antioxidant potent fruit variety. It is claimed to be particularly high in the antioxidant beta-carotene and B vitamins. The beta-carotene orange-yellow pigment, while evident in the ripe fruit, is however largely missing from most powders, which are typically a lighter, pale yellow color, indicating lower beta-carotene amounts. Nutritional product labels from higher quality organic lacuma sweeteners display 0-6% vitamin A content, depending on the brand and serving size. Other nutrients present include vitamin C, folate, niacin, riboflavin, and various minerals such as phosphorus, zinc, iron, manganese, magnesium, and calcium. Moreover, as a low acidic fruit, the dried powders are much more alkaline in relationship to most sugar concentrates and natural sweeteners. Type and quality of lacuma. While lacuma can be picked and consumed as a raw fruit in native habitats, it is not usually eaten straight because of its dry texture. The seeded pulp is typically integrated fresh as a sweet ingredient in recipes or sometimes frozen for later use. In other countries, it is almost chiefly imported as a dried powder. The flesh of the fruit can vary, but is usually between a pale to bright yellow orange color. According to several sources we have come across, the reason why the powders are typically a lighter pigment is because they are harvested when slightly immature. This is apparently better for processing into a type of flour, but may not necessarily provide the same qualities as the ripe fruit. The deeper the color of the dried powders and more fragrant the aroma of the powder, one would assume the riper the fruit was when harvested and processed. These selections, in our opinion, are more flavorful and potentially more nutritious. In addition, fruits grown in the Peruvian highlands, usually the Oxapampa region, are considered to be of superior flavor and traditionally prized over other varieties. Lacuma fruit pulp versus lacuma powder. When comparing the ripe fruit pulp to its dried variation, we have noticed that the pulp is significantly sweeter and has a stronger, caramel-like flavor. To experiment, we dehydrated the fresh, frozen, brightly pigmented pulp and powdered it in a high-speed blender to see if it was much different than the color, taste, and texture of the commercial sweeteners commonly sold. Results revealed that when dried and blender milled, it was a much lighter color with more yellow pigmentation than compared to the fruit pulp it was created from. However, it had a much brighter yellow-orange color in contrast to commercial lacuma powders, but with only a slightly stronger flavor. 
Both dried varieties had a similar starchy texture. Is Lakuma a raw sweetener? Not all commercially available Lakuma is considered raw or is processed below 118 degrees. Some are dried and milled using a process that employs or exposes the fruit to high temperatures when dehydrating or grinding, while others are slow temperature dried. When the product is labeled raw, this is usually the case. However, keep in mind there are no legal standards on what defines a food as raw. It really depends on the brand and the integrity of the company you are purchasing from. Our recommended brands of organic Lakuma powder include Sunfood Superfoods, Navitas Naturals, Ogeo Superfoods, and Raw Food World. Although there are others, these are the ones that we have personally tried and enjoy. How to use. Lakuma powder is convenient to use in recipes in substitution for other sugar types, especially when you don't want a super sweet taste. Although versatile for use in many recipes, the dried fruit powder has a similar consistency to flour and can add a creaminess to certain foods. For this reason, it is featured in desserts like puddings, custards, mousse, and ice creams. It can also be used in preserves and pie fillings to create a thick texture and added fruity sweetness. The powders also blend well with the textures of fats, nuts, and seeds. As a result, they are delicious in shakes using nut milks or coconut kefir. Precautions. Lakuma is a relatively safe sweetener to consume in moderate amounts. It is best to seek the advice of your healthcare provider or dietitian when using it as your primary sweetener if you are diabetic, have obesity issues, or candida overgrowth. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. For additional information, as well as the best sources of high quality Lakuma we can find, be sure and check the links in the description box below this video. And be sure and check out these other informative videos.